Hey okay, guys, this is Matt with Comex Gaming and welcome to another Sourceman tutorial. So today we're going to do translations, which is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Um, so we're going to do that today and um, it is kind of useful. I'm not sure if you're going to use it that much, but it is definitely something that you really should know. Um, using this feature that Sourceman has, you can create different um, texts to print to the chat or, I don't know, the console and have it in different languages in one file. Or you can even change the like the text you want to print without having to edit the code. You can just go directly to that file and just edit that um, line. Just save it and you're good to go. So, yeah. It's kind of useful. So, um, let's see, let's see. We're not going to use any commands or anything like that. We're just going to um, do it this way. So, the first thing you want to do after having the whole basic thing, you want to type the following uh, f uh, function, which is load translations. Whoops. And it takes one parameter. So, this parameter is going to be the name of the file that is going to be located under source mod forward slash um, translations and over there you just want to create a file that is going to be the same name as the file you put here so um, peop what people usually do is put the file name dot phrases right um, a lot of people do that even me um, but you can avoid it if you don't want it um, I'm gonna just put tutorial dot phrases. You don't have to put dot txt; it automatically does that for you. So just put the name you want, and you're good to go. So the way this works is just completely easy. It, there's really nothing hard to it. So imagine you wanna do public on plugin put in plugin put. I'm plugging what the heck on client put in server client <sighs> and here you want to print something to the client so what you gotta do is just print to chat uh, but here you're gonna put the client and in here you I don't know if you want to put SM or anything like that and then when you want to load a translation you gotta put percent capital T and this is gonna go to the translation file you specified above and it's gonna get the, tr the name of the translation you tell it in this following parameter which is gonna be like I said the name so imagine you have a translation called I don't know uh, welcome message. Welcome message. Now you you can have spaces, but I really don't like spaces. So yeah. And yeah. Let me go ahead and open the translation file real fast. Okay, guys. As you can see, I'm here uh, at the translations folder under source mod for slash for slash translations. And in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new text file and I'm going to name it tutorial dot phrases because that's the name I, sp I specified over here, right? So I'm going to edit the file with notepad and we're going to finish this in a second. This is not done yet. So hold on. Okay, so in here, what we want to put is first of all phrases and we want to open and close the curly braces and inside we want to put we want to start adding the translations we want now here's the thing this file I opened sorry about that is in the main translations folder right but inside the, trans the translations folder you're gonna have a bunch of other folders now in the main file or, or I mean folder you're just gonna put 
the the translations file that are going to contain stuff in English, right? You don't want to put anything that contains stuff in I don't know Swedish, for example. Um, you just put stuff in English here. If you want to put like I don't know Swedish, you just open the folder for Swedish and you add with the same file name that you put here over there now here's the thing well, I'm not I'm not gonna go into that right now I'm gonna go it like in five five minutes but yeah let's just specify what we want so our what was it hello um, welcome message so our welcome message it's gonna be in English, whoops, English, because we are in the main folder, and here we wanna put hello, whoops, and I'm gonna explain this in just a minute. Hello, comma, welcome to, and here, right? So maybe you're kind of confused right now. In a a really nice thing that translations have is that you can send additional strings or numbers or floating points or uh, any character you want and it's gonna format it automatically for you this is very nice it's very neat and how to do this is actually very easy you just put up here pound um, format and here when I put one uh, I believe it was colon s and two colon s I'm not sure if it was colon or coma so let me check that yeah guys it is colon not coma you just use the coma to separate the different format um, items now what this means is that the well I think we can call it a variable that the we're gonna call it a variable just to clarify things the variable one is gonna be a string because we do s and if we go back here or in a previous tutorial when we typed percent s in a print to chat statement we were good we were going to replace that with a an actual string so in this case we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna like um, replace it from the code but source mod is gonna do the job for us and it's gonna send it here and it's gonna replace one with the first argument we send and two with the second argument we send remember this is in English I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it in different languages right now but let's finish English for now so we do T and T welcome message is gonna say hello I need an I need an argument welcome to and I need another argument and both are going to be strings now you can have different types here you can have d f for float d for integer um and a uh, some more I'm going to leave um the rest in an annotation somewhere in the screen so yeah so how to do this first of all you want to define the language the client has so to do something like that you want to put you want to put client simple as that and then um what you're going to do is type the actual argument so we're going to do a new string which is going to be the name and um get client name client name size of name and here we want to put name and here's some string and my server oops name okay let me explain once again how this works so each client is going to have a default language right um, I don't know if this is sent by the client, meaning the game, or it is sent by source mod, checking the client's IP or something like that. 
Now there is a function to set the to set a default language for the client, but I completely forgot the name of the function. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. And the following arguments are going to be the arguments to replace within the format function. So if in here we have two arguments, here we're going to send two arguments. The first one is going to be the name of the client because we're getting it up there. As you can see, 1s, we define it as a string. It's going to say hello, 1. 1 is going to be the string that we send, which is going to be replaced with the client name. And the second one is going to be the string that we send, and it's going to be our server name. So it's just going to show hello, the name of the client, welcome to the server name, because we're sending this, or my server name, it's the same. And the first parameter is going to be the name of the translation, which is this. So these are key values, of course, as you can see. And we're not done yet because I have to show you how to do it in different languages. So I'm going to choose Spanish, and I'm going to create a new fo file again, which is going to be called tutorial dot phrases, the same name I used before. And actually, I think this is. Oh no, I didn't. Good. So, let me copy and paste this. We're gonna use the same thing, but we're gonna type e es here for Spanish, and you don't have to redefine the format. Whoa, what the heck? You just have to define it once, and it's gonna be in the English file. In the Spanish file, you just want to do I don't know. Hello client name and oops this means welcome to and the server name right so as you can see you just gotta type it in here you can change it to whatever you want I mean it doesn't have to be Spanish um, just, just change it here and it's gonna change for the people that have the default value set to Spanish but it, I think it's going to be normally English because a lot of people have their games in English. So you can change this around. And a good part about this is that if you sell a plugin or, I don't know, fix a plugin to, for someone, they can edit the message from here. They can be like, I don't know, for example, if we have a an advertisement, for example, ads. And in English, we want to put, um, this is my ad. And then you can tell the client to replace it with anything they want. Like, I don't know, hello, my name is Robert. I don't know, some crap. And this is going to change in the game, and it's going to work perfectly. So this is how you use it. I hope you understand. There's one more thing. OK, this argument client can be replaced with this constant which is going to be the default value for the language like if you put that over here the, it's going to i think it's going to choose english for everyone if the server language is set to english uh, it's going to print the message in english for everyone and it's going to ignore completely the client's default language so that's useful I guess I don't know and these are the data types that you can replace stuff with in the in the files um, so instead of s you can put I don't know D or I X F C and T um, so yeah this is how you use translations file as I said it's not really hard it's kinda useful and I hope you like it guys uh, another thing I'm getting like not many likes or views on my videos and I really cannot ma cannot keep making videos this way um, if this is, doesn't change I think I'm gonna have to move on and discontinue the source mode series um, so if you really if you guys really want this series to continue please share the video read it up um, I don't know spread the word I exist. I'm here teaching for free. 
So please do me that favor. Um, that was all, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.